Welcome back to this series. In this video, we're going to look at the last of the fundamental building blocks of your financial forecast, and that's the funding required to launch or grow a business. We'll look at how to set up taking out and repaying loans, as well as receiving investment or putting your own savings into the business. We'll also have a quick look at how to make dividend payments too. I'll also point out along the way where to find the impact of these activities in your financial statements. So, BRICS handles these tasks with the blue components loan and equity. Let's begin with the loan component since we already started with one through the template. The loan allows you to forecast borrowing a certain amount from a lender, setting an interest rate and repaying it over time. The options here provide you with everything you need to set up common bank loans and there are also manual interest and repayment options if you need to do something more bespoke. Let me show you an example. I'll borrow £36,000 over three years at a 5% interest rate. Now, the best way to see the results is to head over to the dashboard and use the spotlight drop down to highlight just the funding section. Here, you can see we received £36,000 at the start and repaid this plus the interest over the course of the plan. It cost us £2,775 in interest payments. So now we can play with the loan calculator to consider what option might be best for the business. For example, I could go back into the components and change the repayment period to one year. Returning to the chart, I can see that it's a lot cheaper overall because we're paying interest over less time. However, my repayments each month are a lot higher, which the business might not be able to cope with when just starting out. Now, in your reports, you can see the cost of the loan on the profit and loss in the interest charged line. Going over to the cash flow, you'll see all the cash movements involved in this loan. So that will be the initial loan drawdown you receive, as well as both the capital repayments each month and the interest payments up here. Finally, the balance sheet shows you the outstanding loan balance. So you'll know how much you still owe at different points in time. Moving on to the equity component, this allows you to calculate investment into the business through shareholders. Use this component if you're putting your own savings into the business or receiving investment in exchange for a stake in the business. The equity component works by multiplying the amount of shares you sell by the amount you sell them for. So if you sell a thousand shares for a hundred pounds each, you'll receive a hundred thousand pounds in the month you choose to start this component from over on the timeline. You'll see this amount over on the cash flow under the equity released line and on the balance sheet down, down the bottom in share capital. If you want to represent several rounds of investment injected into the business throughout the course of the forecast, use a new equity component each time and set the start date to when you receive that round of investment. Finally, you have the option to pay dividends through the equity component, which can either be calculated as a percentage of the profit you're making each month or by a certain fixed amount per share sold. Remember, you can set this to a table in order to customize exactly how much is being paid and when. So that's funding. Now, over the course of this series, we've looked at the four pillars that every business is built on the sales you make from your products and services that you provide, the expenditure needed to operate a business day to day, the asset purchases that are required to run the business and the funding responsible for launching and growing it. I hope you now have a good basic understanding of these principles and how many and how any business can be modeled with these components. You'll find Brix's other tools available to you for forecasting tax, testing scenarios, and various other financial tasks important to any forecast. You'll find guides to these and more on our support desk and this video channel too, so do check them out. Now the next video is going to briefly run through the subscriptions available for Bricks, so you can choose the right package for your business. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.